you mentioned Tim Bradley, Larry. You said he had an outstanding year. Um, wh what about his year impressed you? What are your thoughts on him? Well, you know, the great statement he felt he had to make after uh, getting what almost everybody on the planet thought was an unjust decision over Pacquiao and him feeling the backlash of that, although obviously he had nothing to do with the decision, and coming out and fighting one of those tough Russians, Provodnikov, and, and, um, and, 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 and making um, one of the best fights of the year, and a tough fight, and then coming back and out boxing. Um, Marquez um, gets a pretty impressive couple of wins for him. The Provodnikov fight, it was really tough and, and, and grueling. Um, Bradley was rocked more than a few times. Did you think that he was... Uh, how far did you think he was in trouble? How bad do you think he was hurt in that well, fight? I, I thought a couple of times he might go. And um, since, since he had never been in a firefight like that, um, you didn't know how he would... Um, react or whether he would survive, but uh, he showed a lot of, a lot of the kind of, uh, of toughness and character that uh, I think a lot of, a lot of us, uh, or none of us had seen before in him because um, he's basically a, uh, a boxer, uh, I've always found him to be a, kind of a crowd-pleasing boxer, dynamic, and and um, and so on. But that was a fight that uh, we hadn't seen him do before, so that was really impressive. And then for him to come back against Marquez and 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 fight his kind of fight, and uh, Marquez was was uh, just the biggest state, statement. Now, before the Marquez fight, you told me you were interested in seeing how Bradley would bounce back. You were curious if he was damaged from Provodnikov, and, you know, what did he show you in Marquez's fight? Well, I think largely because um, he did suffer uh, a real beating in that victory uh, and talked about it so freely and eloquently about the aftermath of it um, uh, that became a a real issue in this fight with uh, Marquez and um, um, we wanted to see how he would come back and uh he came back as as good as ever, or better. So he gets the highest marks for that. And what about you know uh, talking about um, Tim Bradley? He is the type of guy he wants to fight the best fighters. He'll he even says you know Golden Boy's roster. He has interest in guys like Mayweather, Danny Garcia. Uh, do you think he's either going to have to wait until he becomes a free agent to get those fights, or will he try to m push Bob Arum to go after some way to work with Golden Boy? Um, I don't know how that will be resolved. Um, right now, he's probably in the leading position on the short, short list uh, to fight uh, Pacquiao next. Uh, I mean, he's making some uh, serious money these days. Um, and to get that fight, he might have to um, extend his contract with top rank. Um, 
then you see what happens. Maybe he wins legitimately or, 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 or uh, decisively the next time. How does that change the landscape?